If you want to find the sergeant major, I know where he is. I know where he is. I know where he is. If you want to find the sergeant major, I know where he is. Think it all as far he's from. I've seen him. I've seen him. Think it all as far he's from. I've seen him. Think it all as far he's from. If you want to find the boxy private, I know where he is. I know where he is. I know where he is. If you want to find the boxy private, I know where he is. Buried in a deep shell hole. I see him. I see him. Buried in a deep shell hole. I see him. Buried in a deep shell hole. At night, we would be on sentry, head and shoulders above the trench, gazing into no man's land which was lines of tangled barbed wire in front of our trench and also in front of the Germans. Only yards at times separated us. In fact, so close, you could hear a chap coughing. Private Tom MacDonald, 9th Battalion, Royal Sussex Regiment. Five minutes ago, I heard a sniper fire. Why did he do it? Starlight. Overhead, blank stars. I'm wide awake, and some chaps dead. Siegfried Sassoon, Royal Welsh Fusiliers. If you want to find the whole battalion, I know where they are. I know where they are. I know where they are. If you want to find the whole battalion, Joe and I, we were a pair of good pals. We shared everything, down to the paper and pen we needed to write home with and the blacking to polish our buttons. We were like that. It was long-distance shelling that got him. Joe had one fault. He was too careless. He stood up instead of keeping down in the trench. He stood up and a lump of shrapnel got him. Poor Joe. He moaned. I wanted to attend to him, but I couldn't. I just said that the stretcher bearers were coming. They'd take him away. He'd already gone over when they came. I never touched anything he had, you know, to remember him by. I let it all go with him. That was me pal, gone. And I was too full to speak to anybody after that. I never palled up with anybody else. Not after you got that feeling. George Littlefair, Durham Light Infantry, 